question. How did we do it? What you, what you have to understand is at SC, we had so many people who were not first teamers, but were able to get the first team ready to go. And how do I know that? Because I sat on the bench the first year. But that's how we basically did it. We practiced hard, we knew our assignments, we knew exactly what the coach wanted us to do, and we performed. And you don't do anything by yourself, you do it by a team, a team effort. These fellas here, now, I'm gonna say this, T. Parker, who was my mentor, had 20 interceptions. His protege, Daniel Reese, at 18. I just wanted to tell you fellas that. But I couldn't do it without these gentlemen here. Nobody does it alone. So that's basically how you train. You get your mind together. You get your family together. And that's you. So just make certain that you bring that same energy when you get out there and you do that for the youngsters. So that's the answer to my call. Awesome. 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 All right, Ron. Ron, we got a question for you. Your brother Fred played at UCLA while you were at USC. Uh, what just happened? I blacked out. How meaningful is it to you to have the opportunity to play with him in that crosstown rivalry? Right there. All right, you already booed, so the bad part is over. I got to tell you, I never got a chance to recruit anybody else after I lost my brother, so yeah, that's where that went. Well, let me tell you, here is the, this is the stage for the whole world. L.A. To play in L.A. as two different schools, two different teams, and we were playing every year. We played for the Rose Bowl. So it was a wonderful time in my family, okay? My mom and dad were very proud, and they loved us. It was tough for them. They had to sit on half, first half on the SC side and the second half on the UCLA side. That's how they handled it. We had a dog named Ruja. Ruja. But it was wonderful. It was fantastic. And I gotta say, I felt bad for my brother losing both times. But he went on to play for the Vikings for 12 years and I saw him go to the Super Bowl twice, so he didn't work out. But it, this is what I'm talking about. Playing at SC, you have a chance. You have opportunities. And that's all you want in life is an opportunity. You come to SC, this is the place where you get an opportunity. You become the best football player you can be, be the best person you can be, and to make a life that's full of success and wonderful memories like we have here together. And God bless all you guys, and thank you very much. We'll throw this out here to you, Danny. Our final question. This team was comprised of Trojan legends that still hold records to this day. Describe the locker room atmosphere and the brotherhood of this team that was on full all-star power. Well, first, just take a look at these gentlemen. All of them are stars. You've got Anthony Davis. I mean, you got Charlie Phillips. I mean, i got to name every one of them. But remember, I got CT. I can't remember my own name half the time. But it's just beautiful to have these. <laughs> there we go, Ron. My name's Ron, matter of fact. No, it's just beautiful to have friends, and those friends, you guys see them as stars. I see them as my brothers. I mean, we have been together for 51 years. 51. And just being able to be here and to tell each and one of them that I love them and I love the family that we have here, that's what it's all about. Now, whatever the question was, who cares, but I love you guys and thank you.